What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jam Report. I'm your host, Pablo. And joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, James Gunn is at it again. And, you know, what's fun about keeping tabs on him is that he tends to respond to people with specific questions. He doesn't answer it completely, but he certainly gives us hints for us to ponder on. Brian. Somebody tweeted to him, or well, I think this, which character should join James Gunn in IG interview to have spoken, and people picked out 10 names, right? Yeah, I did a poll and got votes, and then okay. published the results, yeah. Okay, so we got 10 names here, Brian. I'm gonna read it off. Dick Grayson, Martian Manhunter, Lobo, Brainiac, Deathstroke, Jason Todd, Robin slash Red Hood, Zatanna, The Court of Owls, Mr. Freeze, John Constantine. Brian, I think we can speak on all of those, but James Gunn picked out five and said, and asked people, is five out of 10 okay? So he's telling us out of these 10 names, we are going to see five of them. Shall we, Brian uh take a good guess on what yeah. those will be do you have your five i want to hear your five and i'll confirm if i because i'm pretty sure we'll have some of the same ones well yeah let's 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 rip through let's rip through them in order then we can do a, okay. a, a yes or no so i, th okay. I think we're going to be agreeing on this but dick grayson as his nightwing persona i say yes yes because he's spoken with yeah batman brave and the bold you're creating the bat family like i i think and we know that Damian Wayne is Robin, so Dick Grayson Nightwing, I think, is a high probability. Yes. Yeah. Martian Manhunter, I had as a no. Nah. Too early. They're not doing enough in space. Is a no now, but it could be a yes later in perhaps yes. a chapter two or later on because we only reveal part, uh, I, I guess, part one of chapter uh, one. Guys yeah. and monsters. I also took this to mean when he said five out of ten. I, I think he means five out of ten in in this first chapter. Like he just yes, they've only yes, given yes, part yes. of the first chapter. That's how I interpret it. So yes. I agree with you. Martian Mandor, I know Harry Lennox played a version of it in the Snyderverse. I don't think they're touching it anytime soon. Yeah. Uh Lobo, I think we think we know. Yes. We're pretty sure. Yes. That's number so two. Much, yeah, not much to say there. Brainiac. Yes. I agree. I think it will be i don't know how substantial see some of these five i don't know if they're going to be like full on i think he's it's a cut scene you a little bit yeah exactly like a, it's a reference a teaser it's there but it's not like featured yet yes that's three that's three deathstroke that's a possibility brian that's a possibility I'm gonna say that's four. I had it as a yes as well. I, I have a technicality as we go through this list too, which I think Gunn is using, but I had Deathstroke as a four. Seems like a very Gunn type of character to have in yes. his Batman world. That's yes. why I had it. Um, Jason Todd has a no. No, and Brian, here's the thing. I will be upset if they don't tell the story, at least as an elsewhere story. I don't want to see Red Hood already included in this. I want to see the story under Real the one. Red Hood. Yes, I got to see that. If you're going to do that, do that the right way. Don't just throw him in there. I was so mad at Titans. Yeah, Which man. Next story. Yeah. It's like, come on, man. Why the, my thing is Brian and I think and I'm sure you would agree why take something great and make it just different than what it was why take the essence of it away from it I don't understand it but I, I, I that's a no for me um and then you had you said Zatanna right yes so remember there was a, we haven't heard anything about that show we don't know if it's alive or not there technically was a zatana show that was greenlit that has there's been no update on yes uh i think 
Based on this, Brian, I think that's a num- I think that's five. So I had it as a yes as well, but for that reason, which is that they just they haven't killed the show totally yet. So then here's my technicality. Court of Owls, I said no, but it's only because it's in the bat verse. It's not in the actual DCU. Yes. And he's not, he's he's being very technical in his definition. And I think Satana is to keep people happy. I, I think I could feel that. So then Mr. Freeze, I think we'd have as a no. Even though, I again, if it pops up, it would pop up in the Matt Reeves verse. It's not in the DCU, but that's a no. Yeah. And then I think we, we, we have Constantine as a no because we think the Keanu Reeves project exactly. is ultimately not going to make the finish line. Okay, so we have exactly. the same. We have the same. Yeah, 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 We And we have reasons for each of those. Um Again, Red Hood is the one I would have a problem with if that was to be included in this uh, in this uh, first chapter. I just think it needs to be done the way it was. There's just so much that goes on in under the Red Hood that they just you just can't do. You just can't put him in there. Uh, uh, and the Court of Owls is something that we've been speculating for quite some time, Brian, that we may see some indication of them in this second film. He, they may not be the the, the main antagonist. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if that is the case. Uh, but being that it being a trilogy, I, I suspect that that may be the, the, the third film uh, of their total introduction. I think that it, they'll probably be introduced in the second one, but the third one will be that. That's going to be the film because that's when he takes the reins over Gotham. I think, I, th- I think that's right. I think it's also good news. I mean, if we take the rankings at face value and we're right, four of the fan, four of the fans top five would actually be happening in some form. Cause he's got, I mean, if we're right, right. We had Nightwing, Lobo, Brainiac and Deathstroke all as a yes. That's four of the top five. Why would so, people think my, my Martian Manhunter? Yeah, I was surprised that he still has that cachet with uh, with fans that they actually really want to see that. I get it because of the Justice League, and I've always thought that not Batman be the guy to bring them together, but yeah. the Martian Manhunter to bring. He's he, for me, he's been the guy to just uh, keep them in sync and be the guy to bring them together out of necessity, right? Um, so let's see. That could be a very shocking one. Very surprising one if he if they did that. I just don't see it. I'm also always curious. Like I don't know how much this matters, but like for example, Martian Manhunter, as we said, Harry Lennox did the did the very brief turn as 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 John Jones in the Snyderverse. Martian Manhunter was also a featured character on the Supergirl CW show. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you didn't watch it much of it, but he he was hiding in plain sight and then became like an actual regular as that series went on. I don't know if that stuff like that matters because obviously um, uh, Nightwing was the leader of Titans uh, on the TV side. But like, I'm always curious, like if stuff like that has just been out there, does that influence, you know, Gunn's decision to say like, hey, I'd rather take a break from characters that audiences have been seeing in some other form yeah. to give you something that people haven't been dealing with nearly as much. I wonder if that actually matters uh, at all. I think so, because you got, we've seen him. How different will he look from what we've seen, right? Uh, how different can they make him look? And It's not going to be a drastic look. And I just don't think the need is there right now. Uh, so that's going to, that. yeah. So that's it just doesn't make sense. But yeah, if, uh, Dick Grayson, Lobo... Brainiac, Deathstroke. I, my concern, Brian, again with Lobo is that I just hope that it's a performance that they don't let Jason Momoa go crazy on. Get a specific specific p- performance out of Jason Momoa. Don't just get Jason Momoa. Certainly, the the character of Lobo and Jason Momoa fit together very. They're like this, you know. Yeah. It, it'll be easy. It's. This yeah. is easy. Yeah, this is this is Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool, right? There's certain <laughs> actors and personality types that just fit with certain characters, and this is that. I actually think in a in a in a, in a roundabout way, 
if Aquaman 2 is as bad as people say, that's going to help the studio's conversation with Jason Momoa going forward. In what way? Oh, that's that. If that bombs, his stroke around the studio is going to go down. And they're going to be able to say, listen, man, we love you. <laughs> You're great. But you got to trust us to put you in a position. Of yeah, exactly. To exactly. Them rock days are over. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, I, I, uh -huh. I mean, to, to, to you know, the, the James Gunn thing, the James Gunn effect. I mean, look at look at look, look at our show content. Look at if you just Google superhero stuff and if you follow any of the, any stuff on social. Like Marvel just premiered a movie, premiered a movie. But James Gunn is he's everywhere. He is keeping DC at the top of the click list, at the top of the search engines. I'm telling you, this is part of the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we're, we're sitting here talking about his castings and his tweets. And like, he even lobbed a grenade into the whole Superman Black Adam thing again for like <laughs> no reason at all. Where he basically was like, well, I was writing Superman Legacy months before um, the whole cameo thing in Black Adam, which then just set off a whole nother round of how Henry Cavill got used by Dwayne Johnson and the studio en route to a basically what turned out to be a red herring, you know, announcement of his return. But like, that's what I mean. Like Gunn is, his hit rate's pretty good. He's not perfect, but he's pretty good at keeping DC in the news for, of course. you know, for more so the right reasons than the wrong, but he keeps them relevant in a way they just haven't been the last couple of years. It's crazy though. I mean, literally a quantum mania is opening weekend. You know, and like the headlines are getting as much about, you know, his Superman legacy tweet, this five of 10 tweet, like what's going on with Wonder Woman? Like he is, he is, he is everywhere. Yeah. And Brainiac, Brian, is certainly a character that we've been requesting for quite some time, Brian, because we've been like, yo, Every time there's a Superman movie announced, it's always characters we've already seen before, or characters that have been done before. And we're like, yo, Brainiac? The only person that mentioned Brainiac and I and I and I rolled my eyes is when Ray Fisher said he wants his character, Cyborg, to face him. That's when I knew Ray Fisher didn't know what the hell he was talking about. <laughs> But Brainiac, Brian, they can, certainly, obviously, we know they can't mess that up, but they can't. We've seen an iteration of him on the show. What's that sci-fi that made him look crazy? Um, well, he, he Krypton. appeared on, oh yeah, he was on Krypton. He was on Smallville. Like, it's never been, but it's never, they've never had a comic. The only comics accurate attempt was on Justice League Unlimited and, and the Justice League card. That's it. That's the only yeah. time it's ever been tried for real. Never seen it live action in a way that was comics faithful. Probably because, I mean, honestly, the, he, he is sort of a high budget character if you're going to do it comics accurate. So the TV shows yeah. usually try to get away with, as you said, a kind of like a crazy end around. Um, but like, you don't have, that's the thing is, to me, it's you can slow play Brainiac all you want. Oh, yes. Just have the, just have the three dots in conspicuous locations and reveals and Easter eggs so we, we know that something's going on. But yeah, I don't have to see Brainiac in his full form doing his thing anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah. And Deathstroke, Brian, you know, he's, for me, certainly a character um, that's very formidable for Batman. And he's one of those characters that, you know, does dope stuff. And then he's out when you see him some other time. He's not one of those characters I think that's easily defeated, and I think it would be a disservice to him to for him to be a one and done sort of situation. So that's a character I think also that you have to be very careful and not making him look inferior or equal to Batman in some way, because you know it, it, I think you just have to be careful with Deathstroke. He, he he's a very um, uh, fan favorite character and he is a very again he's formidable he's he's a genius he's he's a fighter they have to make him look dope and uh 
uh, your thoughts on on Deathstroke and what I you think he needs to be for that character to be successful? And do you think he's a character that you just throw in there for and have him linger around into the in the universe, or you put him in a movie, one and done? Or how, how would you go about him? Well, I mean, we've seen a couple attempts at this recently. Again, the Snyderverse had Joe Manganiello as as their Deathstroke. We never got to see his version of the character, other than the one cutscene with uh, with Lex Luthor. Um, it, he was used as the primary villain in one of the seasons of Titans. He was used as the primary villain actually in uh, Arrow at the very beginning. They had Slade Wilson. I like those all those um, renditions though. Yeah, the one I thought in Arrow actually was it was a little different than the comics, but the actor who owned the part, he did a really yeah, nice yeah. job kind of carrying that through. I will say this, he he conceptually fits with the idea of what Brave and the Bold is trying to be in the sense of if you want your Robin to be kind of unhinged and straddling the line of heroism and villainy, Deathstroke isn't the worst person to put him up against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that working. Yes. And kind of like one of the lengths this Robin is willing to go to to stop this guy mm. and have it contained again to the to the streets of Gotham. I, I could see that working. So I'm curious if we do get him, if that's where he slots in. Um, the other possibility, it's way out of left field and way, way older, but there, there was a time, as you recall, when Ben Affleck was supposed to direct his version of Batman. It was going to be a Batman versus Deathstroke concept. That's what yeah. he was writing that he never got to do. I don't, so I don't know if there's any remnant of that. If they, we know they're talking to Affleck to direct, you know, could he be, could he be in the mix if they're going to yeah. bring Deathstroke in? I don't know. So that's those are just sort of thoughts from the past. But I, I could see it work. Again, it feels like a character that's true to James Gunn's core. Even if he's not yeah. writing the character, I think he could shepherd Deathstroke pretty well. And lastly, Satana. Um, again, Brian, you, I may mention that this could be a, a play to keeping people happy because, as you can tell, all the characters that we named are... Uh, how would I say? <laughs> or, 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 you know, or, we're kind or, of the same. When yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on that? And how do you see her fitting in? Because she's usually a character that you see with Justice League Dark. Perhaps she could yep. be attached to Swamp Thing. What are your thoughts on that? And Constantine. So, I don't know. But Constantine, I think, comes out later, I think. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. I mean, like I said, there's still there's still like the conspicuous silence around certain projects that like in this whole transition have just not been mentioned. Right. So Zatanna is one. Static Shock is another. Like there's a couple that just like there's nothing there's nothing. Like there's literally no information. It but what we saw with Green Lantern was they took clearly some of the DNA of whatever was in the writer's room of the, you know, Okay, so we don't want to do the Berlanti version, but we like the idea of a multiple lantern show, and they turned it into this true this pitch of the true detective. So this idea that like you might maybe it's Zatanna's show as originally conceived we never see, but maybe the actress they wanted to play it, or maybe the DNA of the character they wrote it. Gun's like I'll take that, I'll borrow that, and I'll use it as a portal to introducing magic in in my universe. Maybe he does it in a TV show as opposed to a movie. So. I tend to agree with you. Like they do need, they do need a little bit of, 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 of diversity in, in what what they're doing. Um, I and I think for. that, you know, I mean, I think that's fair, especially when you know they're still taking heat for the Batgirl decision. So, um, you know, and I think, and I think it'll be interesting because again, I think if the Flash is really good, and Sasha Kaye is like, I, we'll see how this. We finally got to look at her as Supergirl, but like that's another one where it's like, are, you know, they're gonna cut that off at the knees like before it even gets going because it's a yeah. remnant of another regime. Like, you know, I mean, you, you do need to, you know, Marvel's done a by and large with Ant Man three, a recent exception, done a pretty good job of casting female characters recently. I think so. DC does need to turn up in, in that area, so maybe this is a way to do that. But you know, yeah. I, I would say of the five we named though. This is the low. This is my lowest confidence that I'm right. If you had to pick one more, who would it be? That well, then I would say wasn't on that list. Okay, okay. Then I would say Constantine, but it wouldn't necessarily. That doesn't mean it's Keanu Reeves Constantine. 
But yes, I would say yes. Constantine because of Swamp Thing and the bridge to the, the bridge to Justice League Dark and wanting to go that route as opposed to having Zatanna be the the connection to that. That's what I mean. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, th these five characters. Could these be the five characters that James Gunn is referring to um, from the 10 that were selected by fans? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Or is do you have a different five um, that's not on this list? Let us know in the comment section below of, of who you would like to see uh, in James Gunn. First chapter of Gods and Monster. Uh, Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. Where were the other drugs going?